in this tutorial we will learn how the MEMS slow meter work and how to use them with Arduino board. Also with the processing ID we will make some practical application using the sensor. So watch this video till last to learn about it. So what is an accelerometer sensor? An accelerometer is an electronic mechanical device which is used to measure acceleration forces. The force may be static like the continuous force of gravity or as seen in the many mobile devices dynamic to sense movements or vibrations. So this is the three axis accelerometer with x axis, y axis and z axis. The x axis denotes left right tilting. Similarly, the y axis denotes forward backward tilting and the z axis denotes gravity tilting that is upward and downward motion. Now let us understand the working of MEMS accelerometer. MEMS accelerometer measures acceleration by measuring change in capacitance. Its microstructures look something like this. It has a mass attached to a spring which is confined to move along one direction and fix outer plates. So when an acceleration in the particular direction will be applied, the mass will move and the capacitance between the plates and the mass will change. The change in capacitance will be measured, process and it will correspond to the particular acceleration value. So apart from this, we will learn about ADXL345 3-axis accelerometer as an example. Now actually ADXL345 is a digital accelerometer. It has total number of 8 pins. The first pin is ground pin, the second pin is VCC pin that requires 3.3 volt power supply, CS, INT1, INT2 and SDOR output pins, SDA and SCL are I square C pins used for serial communication with Arduino Uno board. Now we will learn about the internal architecture of ADXL345. Now the ADXL345 has internal sensor that is 3 axis sensor that is sensed by capacitance. Now this capacitance value is converted into digital signal by ADC and there is 32 le level FIFO and control and interrupt logic circuit directly gives three different values that is the values of X, Y and Z. Let's understand the ADXL345 working principle with microcontroller. Now it runs on I2C communication protocols. Now I2C communication protocol is actually the protocol which requires only two wires. These two wires are enough to control many number of devices. Actually we can control 1024 devices using I2C protocol using only two pins of microcontroller that is SD and SCL pins. This is how we interface Arduino with LCD and ADXL345 microcontroller. This is the circuit diagram and connection. SD and SCL pin is connected to A4 and A5 pins of Arduino Uno board and it runs on 3.3 volt power supply. So let's move to programming section y.h used for i square 2 communication liquid crystal libraries for interfacing with lcd for no need of this as well now 0 into 53 is i to c device it is for adxl 345 now why you are using 6 because it has x y and z axis and each axis requires two number of bytes so three axis requires six bytes now this is offset and gain. Now this offset and gain you can get these values from data sheets. <coughs> now this command is used for reading the 6 byte data from device. And this str function is used for directly transferring data into number to serial port. Now these are the device address for 
x, y, and z axis. That is how number of bits it requires. So this is total number of 32 bits. That is 8 bits, 16 bit, 32 bits. Now we are using buffer. This is for controlling the two bytes instruction finally. This command will directly print x, y, and z coordinate value. As you can see, this in serial monitor. Now this will directly print the value in LCD as there is no requirement. Under is for delay in under microseconds. This command is for transmission via I2C communication protocol. Let's compile the code and upload it. So once you upload it, the device starts working. But for plotting graph, you note processing ID. The link is given in the description. Download it and open this processing ID. Now this processing ID is similar to Arduino, but it is required to draw the graph or plot any curve or understand the 3D animation. So it also requires code. So the link is given in the description. Copy the code and paste it over here. Now here you need to change one value that is you need to change the communication port value so my arduino id is connected to com4 so replace this with com4 so now you need to run this so once you click run button a graph will appear now as you are seeing it is in motion currently do you know what this motion is it is actually tilt motion of accelerometer i am tilting it and it is moving okay let me show you so as i am moving this accelerometer and this animation is also moving on the same direction simultaneously this is very interesting To make it more accurate, set the timing to 10. That is delay that I showed in the Arduino Uno, but currently the delay is 100 microseconds. So this is a wonderful demonstration. How can you transform your motion value to 3d animation comment down below if you want to learn more about it or if you have any more doubt and queries thank you thanks for watching for more visit my official website www.howtoelectronics.com